I think values are cheap, but I think culture is expensive. It costs us nothing to say we value this in a business, organization, church, whatever it is. These are our values, but it will cost you a lot to make those values the behavior or the culture in your organization. Maybe years ago, um, flying with British Airways around the world, I've been so unhappy with the service, but when I Googled their branding, their values were, we exist to fly and to serve. My experience of their culture was they, they existed to do one of those two things and it wasn't the second. My rebranding of Virgin as a user, as an experience of their culture would be, we exist to fly and to be rude, to fly and to ignore and be unhelpful because that's what I felt and many felt about the British Airways staff culture. Contrast that with Virgin. Uh, when I flew Virgin, I always experienced uh, a sense of excellence, customer service, an eye to detail, playfulness. I remember being in a Virgin lounge in Australia, business lounge, and the Wi-Fi password for the day was joyful. Go to a BA business lounge and the passwords are Budapest, Las Vegas, Romania, names of cities, geographic. But in that lounge in Virgin, the word joyful was deliberately chosen because that word carried the culture of Virgin even to the degree of it being present in a password. And that day in the lounge, people were saying the word joyful, typing the word joyful, saying to each other, what's the password? It's joyful. How do you spell it? One L or two. And there was a word in our vocabulary that day created by cultural engineering that brought us into the cultural bubble of virgin in a way that we would never experience uh, in our day. Who would use the word joyful in their day, especially in a busy, you know, traveling experience. Servant leaders are more bothered about culture than they are about values. They don't want to be leading anything where there's a gap between we believe we value this, but that's not what they deliver. Join me on the 30th of November at the Servant Leader Mastermind. I'm going to show you how to not let that happen in your business organization church because we are looking for cultural matches, cultural good experiences. We're not interested anymore in places that have values that they state, but they are not delivering in their culture. I'll see you there. It's going to be great. Cheers.